tetanus. What is it? The causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. A bacteria known as Clostridium. Tetany is the source of the infection, known as tetanus. Tetanus bacteria. Spores can be found in soil, dust, and manure, among other environmental components. When the spores get inside the body, they turn into bacteria. Tetanus does not pass from person to person like other infections that may be prevented by vaccination. A bacteria that produces a toxin is the source of the deadly neurological condition known as tetanus. Muscle spasms brought on by the illness, particularly in the neck and jaw muscles, are common. Lockjaw is a frequent symptom of tetanus. Tetanus consequences might be fatal if they are severe. Tetanus has no known treatment. The goal of treatment is to control symptoms and side effects while the tetanus toxins effects are still present. Tetanus cases are uncommon in the United States and other industrialized nations due to the extensive use of vaccinations. Those who are not up to date on their immunizations continue to be at risk from the disease. It occurs more frequently in underdeveloped nations. Symptoms, the incubation period, or the amount of time between an infection and the onset of symptoms, is typically 10 days. The incubation phase may last 3 to 21 days. Tetanus is most frequently known as generalized tetanus. Over the course of two weeks, signs and symptoms steadily intensify after a modest start. Usually, they begin at the jaw and work their way down the body. Generalized tetanus symptoms and signs include muscle stiffness, muscle rigidity, and painful muscle spasms in your jaw, your lips surrounding muscles tense, up sometimes, giving you a constant smile, stiffness and painful spasms in your neck muscles, having trouble swallowing, rigid stomach muscles, repeated, agonizing, seizure-like, Spasms that linger for many minutes are a symptom of tetanus. Progression generalized spasms. Typically, the fists are clenched, the knees stiffen, the neck and back arch, and the arms are dragged up to the body. Breathing issues might be brought on by neck and abdominal muscle tightness. Minor occurrences that activate the senses, such as a loud noise, a physical contact, a breeze, or light, might cause these violent spasms. Other symptoms and indicators that may appear as the condition worsens include elevated blood pressure, reduced blood pressure, quick heartbeat, fever, severe perspiration, regional tetanus. Muscle spasms are a symptom of this unusual kind of tetanus that affects the area around a wound. Although it normally manifests in a less severe form, it can develop into widespread tetanus. Tetanus in the head. This uncommon kind of tetanus develops after a head injury. It causes the muscles in the face to weaken and the muscles in the jaw to spasm. Additionally, it may develop into widespread tetanus. How is tetanus determined? Clinical signs and symptoms are used to make the diagnosis of tetanus. Since the disease causing germs cannot be extracted from a tetanus, patient's lesion, laboratory diagnosis is useless. Result of tetanus. The time from the onset of the first symptom to the onset of the first muscular spasm often determines the prognosis. In general, the prognosis is poor if symptoms appear quickly and worsen, but with the right care people typically recover and survive tetanus. Tetanus has been deadly in around 11% of instances recorded in recent years. According to the CDC, unvaccinated individuals and those 60 years of age and older are the groups most at risk for fatal cases. Tetanus treatment and medicine options. The goal of treatment is to control side effects until the tetanus toxins effects subside. Tetanus sufferers will get care in a hospital, typically in the intensive care unit. According to KidShield, the standard course of treatment includes tetanus immune globulin, TIG to neutralize the toxin already produced and medicines to eliminate microorganisms. You can also be prescribed medication to relieve muscular spasms, and you might also require medical attention to maintain critical bodily processes. You might need to be put on a ventilator to help you breathe, depending on how bad the infection is.
Following these instructions can help avoid tetanus if you have a small wound, strike down the hemorrhage, direct. Pressure should be used to stop bleeding. Keep the wound tidy. Once the bleeding has stopped properly, cleanse the wound with fresh running water. Utilizing soap and a washcloth, clean the area surrounding the wound. See your doctor if something is buried inside a wound. Use antibiotics. Apply a thin coating of an antibiotic cream or ointment to the wound after cleaning it. These antibiotics won't hasten the healing process but they can prevent infection and bacterial development. Shield the injury. Although bandages help keep the site clean and keep dangerous bacteria out, exposure to the air may hasten the healing process. Draining blisters are more susceptible. Maintain the cover until a scab appears. Replace the clothing to help prevent infection. Change the dressing at least once day or any time it gets filthy or moist. Consequences of tetanus. The CDC lists the following as major health issues that can result from tetanus. Vocal cord tightness that is uncontrollable or uncontrolled. Laryngospasm, bone fractures, fractures, illnesses that a patient picks up while being treated at a hospital. Nosocomial infections. Vocal cord tightness that is uncontrollable or uncontrolled. Laryngospasm, bone fractures, fractures, illnesses that a patient picks up while being treated at a hospital. Nosocomial infections. A blood clot that has traveled through the circulation from another part of the body and clogged the major artery of the lung or one of its branches pulmonary embolism. An infection of the lungs known as pneumonia is brought on by breathing in foreign objects. Aspiration pneumonia. Breathing issues that might cause death. Your breathing may become obstructed or cease if you have severe tetanus-induced tetanic muscular spasms. The primary cause of mortality is respiratory failure. Oxygen deprivation causes cardiac arrest and death. Another cause of death is pneumonia. Research and data. How frequently occurs tetanus? Tetanus is no longer widespread in the United States, according to the CDC. There are typically only 30 recorded instances each year. Almost majority tetanus cases occur in persons who have not received all of the necessary tetanus immunizations. Individuals who have never had the tetanus vaccination as well as adults who miss their 10-year booster injections fall under this category. Causes. Clostridium tetany is the name of the bacteria that causes tetanus. The bacteria can persist in soil and animal waste in a dormant condition. It is virtually stopped until it finds a location where it may flourish. The cells are awakened when the dormant bacteria enter a wound, which is a favorable environment for development, and as they multiply and expand, they emit a toxin called tetanospasmin. The nerves in the body that govern muscles are harmed by the poison, risk elements, complications. Tetanus infection complications might include breathing issues vocal cord, constriction, as well as neck and abdominal muscular stiffness can pose a serious danger to one's ability to breathe, particularly during a widespread spasm. Death. Tetanus frequently results in death due to an obstruction of the airway during spasms or injury to the nerves that control breathing, heart rate, or other organ functions. Prevention. Tetanus can be avoided with vaccination. Immunization of kids. Children receive the tetanus vaccination as part of the diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis a cellular vaccine tap. A dangerous bacterial infection of the nose and throat is called diphtheria. Whooping cough, commonly known as a cellular pertussis, is a very infectious respiratory ailment. If you like my video, please do subscribe in my channel. Thank you.